building will now provide our own room. We've always had to use somebody else's space. And so we're looking forward to just bringing in more groups of people to join together to fight and end the weekend hunger. They are fighting childhood hunger in West Michigan, and now they're growing. Fox 17's Janice Allen met with the founder of Hand to Hand to get a look at their new headquarters and tell us how it'll help them. As you walk through here, this is our packing room. And this is actually where all the magic is going to happen. Hand to Hand is growing inside this old Aldi building on Chicago Drive. The expansion, ensuring food will be able to get into more hands of hungry children. When I even started in Jenison, nobody believed that there was a need or there were hungry kids. Sherry Honder had started Hand to Hand in 2008 during the recession. Times were tough for everybody and discovered that there were kids in my local school that were coming to school hungry on a Monday morning. Knowing there had to be a way to to keep students from going hungry on the weekend. How could we do this discreetly for kids, provide supplemental food for the children, get the food directly into the kids' hands, and that's how Hand to Hand was born. The organization started by feeding just 19 students in Jenison using this old cabinet for storage. Now the faith-based nonprofit is in 230 schools, partnering with more than 100 churches to pack and distribute meals each week. Feeding students from early childhood through high school and in some cases, their families as well. There's always some breakfast items, some snack items, and even dinner kit items or lunch kits. The new space provides almost 16,000 square feet. We're going to have a lot of room to grow. Allowing hand-to-hand -to, -hand to become more efficient and effective, feeding up to 10,000 more students. Honored, crediting the community for all the support as they grow. If you drop a pin of where we are in West Michigan, this is the center. It's actually where it began, Jenna and it's now where this Aldi building uh, is just a perfect fit. And the expansion also happening at the perfect time. From here all the way down there is basically our food storage area. Hondert expecting the demand for their services to grow as federal funding set aside to help schools during the pandemic runs out. We just believe that the need will be greater for lower income families who seem to have suffered the most through the COVID. Vital food not only filling stomachs but fueling a better education during the school day. Hopefully they can then excel and begin to dream about their future as a high school student. Uh, not just be hungry. And Janice Allen, Fox 17 News.